Hello everyone, welcome to our channel How to Electronics. In this video, we will discuss about the new kit that I recently got from China from a company called Seed Studio. This is an Arduino beginner kit with the group connectors and the group sensors. Now, this kit is useful for all the students and all the beginners who want to become master in programming. That is, who want to learn what about the basic sensor modules, what are the basic sensors kit and how to begin with the Arduino programming. This will simply guide you the best and basic use of Arduino programming from blinking of LED to use of sensor. So, let us see what is inside this board and explore all the features along with the basic programming skill. So, now without getting any delay, let us get started. So, welcome back. Here is a group beginner kit for Arduino that I recently got from a company in China called Seed Studio. They are the official manufacturer and the distributor of this Arduino compatible board. This board is specially designed for Arduino beginners and STEAM education. This board is having 10 sensor module that can help you to learn the basics of Arduino and increase your knowledge towards the basics understanding of C programming. The board contains temperature humidity sensor, accelerometer, air pressure sensor, light sensor, sound sensor, potentiometer, button, LED, buzzer, OLED display, Seduino Lotus, group cable and finally a micro USB cable. So, let us unbox this sensor and see what is inside this sensor box. So, inside the sensor box, you can see there is a big board that has all the sensors and modules. Now, this big board is fixed on a board. So, on the right side of this box, there is a micro USB data cable and on the left side, you can see there are so many group connector cable. So, the group connector cable and a micro USB cable are enough to program this board and do the remaining experiment. You can directly insert the micro USB cable to this Seduino Lotus board which has a CP2102 driver and these cables are used to connect to the Arduino Lotus board connectors and also the sensor connectors. You can connect all the sensor and all the modules to this board. So, on this uh, kit, you can see there is an instruction manual, a very small instruction manual explain how you can use the serial begin function, delays function, digital read function, analog read function, digital write function, pin module setup and print function. So, here you can see this is a sound sensor and on the left side of the sound sensor, there is a light sensor. This light sensor is used to detect the quantity of light and perform the experiments. And then we have a DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor which has an internal thermistor to measure the temperature. Here is a 3 axis accelerometer for measuring the acceleration and tilting position. Similarly, on the left side you can see there is a air pressure sensor called BMP280 that can measure the atmospheric pressure, temperature and altitude. So, at the middle of the board, we have a Seduino Lotus board which has a same digital and analog input output pin as Arduino. It also has four pin connector that is basically a group connector which can be directly inserted on this board. Here you can see there is a 8 mega 328 controller. So, this is a rotatory type potentiometer and on the left side, there is a push button which also has a group connector. This is a 0.96 inch I2C OLED display and here is a LED connected to D4 pin and we have a buzzer as well. So, all of this can be used to learn so many so many projects. So, visit arduino.cc and move to software part and from here you can download the Arduino IDE. I am using Windows 10 
So, I downloaded it for Windows 10. Okay, and here is a Arduino beginner kit manual provided by the CD Studio. You can use this manual to perform all the experiments or I have posted all this instruction on my website as well. Either you follow the instruction manual or you can simply visit the link in the description to do all the lessons and experiments. So the first program is blinking of LED. So in this part, we will connect a D4 pin to the LED. Just don't need a connection also. The reason why you don't need this connection is all of them are internally connected. But for demo purpose, I am just showing you can connect it using the group cable. You can rotate this potentiometer to adjust the LED brightness. Now insert the USB to the computer port and other end of the USB to the Siduno Lotus board. Open your Arduino ID, go to the tools and then select Arduino Uno board. From this tools part, select the COM port. In my case, it is COM4. Let's see the basics LED blinking program. So we have defined LED as pin number 4 and then it is defined as output and we are blinking the LED for 1 second and 1 second off. So after uploading the code, you can see the LED is continuously turning on for 1 second and then it's again turning off for 1 second. But now the brightness of LED is very low. So in order to increase the brightness, you can rotate the potentiometer near it using a screwdriver. This is the second program. In this program, we'll control an LED using a button. The LED is already connected to the D4. Okay. And then this button need to be connected to the board. As I already explained, all of them are internally connected. For demo only, I am showing you the connection. The button is connected to D7. So here we have defined the button as pin 6 and LED as 4 pin. And the button state is currently 0. So when the device will begin, it will initialize as 0. We are defining button as input and LED as output. So this button state will read the status of button whether it is high or low. If it is high, the LED will turn high and if it is low, the LED will turn low. Once the code is uploaded, you can start doing the experiment. Press this button and the LED will turn on and off. The more you keep pressing the LED, the LED will blink more. Now the third program is LED blink speed controller using the potentiometer. We will remove all the remaining connections and then connect the potentiometer to A0 of Siduno board and the LED to D4. So we define the rotatory pin as A0 and LED pin as 4. Initially rotatory value is 0 and LED pin is defined as output. In the rotatory value, we are just reading the analog value from rotatory pin. So upload this code now. Now, now when I rotate the potentiometer, the LED is turning on. And similarly, rotating the potentiometer in other direction will simply turn off the LED. So this is how you can use the potentiometer to control an LED. Now we will see the buzzer part. In this buzzer part, we will connect the buzzer to the D5 pin and then using a potentiometer, we will increase the speed of sound or intensity. So the sensor pin is defined as A6 and LED as 4. Sensor value is 0 and output value is 0 initially. Pin mode LED is defined as output. So this is the sensor pin and from here we are mapping the sensor value from 0 to 1, 0 to 3 to 0 to 255. This will be printed on a serial monitor as well. So now directly upload the code. So now when you rotate this, the buzzer will produce more and more sound.
Now, this is another experiment using the light sensor. So, we will control this LED by the impact of light. So, LED is connected to the D4 pin and the light sensor is connected to the analog pin A6. Whenever the light falls on the sensor, the LED will get activated. So, here is a basic code. The sensor is defined as A6, LED as 4, both of the values are initialized as 0 initially. And in this part, you can see the value is mapped. When the darkness is introduced near the sensor, the LED turns off. And when the light falls on the sensor, the LED turns on. So, this is how our light sensor works. You can also see the analog value on serial monitor. Serial monitor is a virtual monitor where you can see anything whatever you like instead of using a display. So, the next experiment is control LED using sound sensor. So, here is a sound sensor. We will connect this sound sensor to the analog pin A2 of Arduino and then LED to the D4 pin again. So, here is a code whenever a sound limit exceeds above certain value that is the analog signal produced by the sound sensor then the LED will turn on high else it will turn on low. After uploading the code currently the LED is turned on. Now when I put my hand near the sound sensor the LED will just blink or turn off depending upon the sound intensity. This is the seventh experiment. This is the interfacing of 0.96 inch i to c OLED display to the Siduino board. So, connect the OLED display to the i to c pin. Any of the i to c pin can work. So, here we will need a few library. So, go to the library manager and include library. Search for u8lib. So, here you can see here is a library which is supported by various boards and for various modules. So, simply install it on your Arduino ID. So, we have defined the library and simply we are displaying the hello world on the OLED display using some internal library functions. So, upload this code. So, once the code is uploaded, the OLED display will turn on. So, here you can see the OLED display is displaying the hello world. Apart from the hello world, you can display anything whatever you like. Now, let us interface DHT11 sensor and read the humidity and temperature value. So, the OLED display is already connected to the I2C pin. Now, we need to connect this DHT11 sensor. It is digital sensor. So, connect it to any digital pin. For example, connect it to the D3 pin. So, here are libraries that we need that is the DHT library. For this library, again go to the library manager. And from library manager, search for group temperature and humidity sensor. So, here is the library. Simply install it. After uploading the code, the OLED display will start displaying the temperature and humidity value. Currently, the my room temperature is around 28 degrees Celsius and humidity is almost 36 to 37. You can increase the humidity value by introducing your wet hand near the DST11 sensor. Now, we will interface BMP280 sensor and read the pressure, temperature and altitude value. So, connect the BMP280 ear pressure sensor to Arduino I2C pins since it is an I2C module as well. So, here is a code. Again, we need the BMP280 library. So, again go to the library manager and here search for the seed BMP280. So, here is the library. Simply install it and then upload this code and then open the serial monitor. So, here you can see it is showing the temperature, pressure and altitude value. The temperature of my room is almost 30 degree Celsius. Pressure is around 94, 5.2 Pascal and the altitude is almost 580 meters above the sea level. Now, here is an another experiment using the accelerometer. So, this accelerometer measures the tilting position. For this, we need LIS3 DSTR library. So, download this library from GitHub, go to the sketch and now 
include the zip library this time. So go to the downloads and then just add this library. After adding the library, you can simply upload this code. So after uploading the code, open the serial monitor. So here you can see the acceleration or the tilting position shown in x, y and z axis. You can simply rotate or move the Seduno starter kit or the sensor. So it will show the acceleration position. I hope you like this video and learned so much about the basics beginners guide. Thank you so much for watching.